Hi, this is Nancy L.T. Hamilton for our fireside chat on a rainy Northern California day. Um, I moved my studio, as some of you may have seen, and um, I didn't have a ventilation system for my soldering area, so I was looking around at, I was going to get just a hood for over, like over the kitchen stove, uh, a kitchen hood, I think they're called, stove hood, oven hood, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But anyway, the one that I wanted was $1,100 because it, it it sucked a lot of air. Uh, what is it? CFM, as they call it. They're not shoes. Um, cubic feet per meter or something on how much air it's pulled out. And I wanted a pretty strong one. Um, and I also didn't need all the lights and all that stuff. And I was like, oh my God, there's got to be a cheaper way. So I started YouTubing and Googling and found little pieces from different sites that I thought, okay, I can do this, I can put this together. So I came up with a ventilation system that I'm really happy with. Um, it ended up costing me a total about $112, which is a slight bit better than $1,100. And so I thought I'd show you the basics on how I made it. Um, I'm going to have a PDF with um, more detailed instructions and links to the pieces that I bought on my website nancyltheamilton.com um, so if you want to make one for your studio too so anyway we're I'm gonna get up and show you what what's what but I brought notes because I can't remember what these things are called so anyway here's my fabulous little system um, this is my soldering area so when I this actually failed over here so when I solder my fumes will be sucked out of this through this little fan here and there's ducting over here that will eventually go out this wall right here that's my husband's honeydew project for Sunday that he doesn't know about yet um, so let me tell you a little bit about this little beast this is a Ventec inline duct fan not duck but D-U-C-T and it's um, it's pretty strong it's I think it's four what is it? 440 CFMs, which is equivalent to a range hood. I think that's what those are called. Anyway, this is, so this one, they come like without a stand and they come with a stand and they come with filtration. I guess a lot of people use these in grow rooms to move the air around when you're growing tomatoes. <laughs> but this one I liked it because it has a stand and I didn't have to do any fancy footwork. It also has a, a wall mount so you could stick it up here, although I don't know what you do. You'd probably have to cut a hole in the wall to put the venting through. And the back, it's a six inch diameter uh, outlet back here, so I needed to buy six inch um, ducting. This ducting is a semi-rigid, I'm reading this from notes obviously, otherwise I wouldn't know what it's called, semi-rigid flexible aluminum. Um, you can also use a dryer hose. Um, I, I'm sure they have a four inch, that the, seems to be the two sizes in this world of ducting and what they call it with the HVAC is four to six inches. So, and they make adapters. So if you have something that's six inches and you have a four inch hose, you can put the adapter on. Um, so anyway, you need some kind of hose to take it out. I just put it on with duct tape. Um, I bought some of these hose clamps. And this is an 8 inch and it does not fit around the duct. So I just ordered um, one that goes from like 9 and 3 quarters to 12 or something to try that. You can also use long zip ties. And that's just an added precaution as far as zipping it or, or, or clamping it around the um, thingy that comes out the back of the fan. Uh, I probably don't even need it, honestly. Um, I will need it for when I put it through the wall because... I don't want that to come off and have the cold air coming into my studio. So the next thing I have to get is um, a wall cap, they're called, and that basically is a transition between the, the uh, ducting to the outside world. Um, it has a mesh over the front of it so that little ratties, the ratas and ratons, don't get up into the ducting and uh, turn your studio into a chewed up mess. So um, I'm going to demonstrate, oh wait, one more thing. This comes with, I also, it doesn't come with, I also bought a, um, let me look at my notes, duct fan speed adjuster. Because otherwise this fan would run on high 
and with this little um, uh, adjuster, speed adjuster, what? Don't catch yourself on fire there, Missy. Um, goes from high to low, so I can alter the um, speed. So I'm going to demonstrate it so I can shut up. And remember, online links, instructions, um, and etc. and etc. So here we go. And it, uh, you may not be able to hear me, which could be a really good thing. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it on. We got to come up with a name for. Oh, one quickie. Sorry. I ne see, I just never can shut up. I bought, I have this wire foam. You could use window screens. Um, and I put it on here because there's little plastic blades in there. And I have cats. And God forbid they should get over here, which they're not allowed to be over here. Put their tail in or I stuck my hand in there. This wire form stuff is available like at Michael's. And it's a craft um, screening. And I just cut a little circular piece and taped it on masking tape, which I'm going to switch to duct tape. So it's a little more sturdy. So anyway, I'm going to demonstrate with a candle, so I'm going to turn it on. We'll start on uh, high. Now see how high it's a little loud. And this is medium. Oh, you know what? Let me put my... Watch the flame. So let's see, back to high. And then that flame is being sucked over there towards it. Even at low, it's still being pulled over there. So I'm going to go back to high. Blow this out to show you how fabulous it works. Suck that stuff out. So it's going to do what right now it's all venting into the studio. <laughs> it's going to smell like burnt candles in here. But the cool thing is, is it's taken the fumes away, which is what I wanted to do. And it was under $150 uh, to make and put together. And I, a girl, could do it. So, anyway, that was uh, my fireside chat for the day. And uh, come see us again. This is Nancy L.T. Hamilton. And don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, you'll miss all this boring babble. <laughs> Bye.